Our heritage is very important to us, our southern heritage. It has been aligned in this cemetery in certain respects. As you can see, these graves have orange confetti all over them. They're only on the Confederate soldiers. Uh, we have had our flags pushed into the ground. We've had to raise those flags. We've had those flags damaged over the year. I didn't know you were coming. So. Uh, we are speaking for those who cannot speak for themselves. There are four Confederate soldiers here, including First Lieutenant Robert J. Tipton, Company B of the 19th Tennessee Infantry. And you can see just behind me, you can see all the orange confetti on the Tipton plots. And uh, we hope today to draw attention to this fact. That is happening. We have been told that, uh, by certain people that we have no right to fly this large flag in this cemetery. Uh, they want it taken down. What are your thoughts on that? Well, we put the flag up to honor the Confederate soldiers. Uh, we have rights protected under the First Amendment. Uh, we have the right to honor a soldier in an honorable, dignified way. And that is why we have this large flagpole here. And we maintain Nobody it, we really keep the flags it. maintained, mm -hmm. uh, we rotate them and they're tattered, it's probably and we have had two stolen. We don't know who did that, yeah. but, uh, but uh, we do respect our southern heritage. What does this flag stand for? What does it mean to you? These flags stand for a culture, they stand for a time in American so history this was originally when the South was attacked and invaded. By who I would say uh, a president who had no respect for the Constitution. Uh, he attacked illegally. And uh, when he attacked, the South responded, and they responded, and they responded with, uh, with the appropriate flags. So these flags stand for a people who stood united with a new country, same as the, the founding fathers did when the country was first formed. There was no difference. Uh, federal government had taken, uh, except in this case, the federal government had uh, usurped authority, which it did not have, and they literally ruined the South in the process. So you guys gathering here and protesting out by the road, what do you hope that does and means to the people who drive by and see it? We hope it draws attention to what we've just discussed here. We hope that they would pull up and stop uh, out, of the, out of traffic. Come talk to us and we'll explain to them what we've uh, just explained to you here this morning. And uh, we welcome anyone to come join with us. They want to carry a flag. I have some. I'll be glad to let them loan them one. Okay. All right, that's perfect. Thank you. What, you guys are doing. what, what were y'all gathering here about today? Well, we're gathering here today to bring honor to the uh, our family members, uh, ancestors for where they fought for the southern cause of liberty that was given to us by our forefathers. And we are, if you've noticed, a lot of flagging tape, flags left on his grave since March. And we're uh, protesting the <laughs> leaving this on people's graves. Why do you think that's wrong? I, I don't know. Uh, would you like one of these on your grave? I don't think I would. And I, I just think it's not appropriate. Right. You think that Confederate soldiers should be in here just like anyone else? Yes, ma'am. They have a right. Uh, in 1957, General Eisenhower and the Congress passed a bill making the Confederate soldiers American soldiers. Yes, ma'am. So they should be treated just, can you just speak to how they should just be treated like any other soldier? Yes ma'am, they, they fought in a war, they fought what they believed in, and they should have the honor and right to love the soldiers. We honor our soldiers today, and, and when I see them on the street, I thank them for what they've done, and I appreciate it for what these fellows did for the South. So you guys gathering here today, what do you hope this proves? What do you hope this does? Well, we're hoping for some recognition of the fact of the marking of this uh, cemetery that left the way it has been since March, um, and to make it aware that there's folks that don't want us here, and it's a free public cemetery, and there's no deed on it, and we have a right to be here just like everybody else. Okay. What does this mean to you personally? Personally, I have found 36 Confederate ancestors, and I'm very proud of my family. There's a, of course, the movement against the, the South and the Southern ways is to bring shame upon uh, the 
Southerners. I'm not ashamed of my family. I'm proud of what they believe in. Okay, is there anything else you'd want to add just about this movement, about your, your group? Are y'all going to be doing this more often? Yes, ma'am. Okay. This is uh, it's called, called the, the Tennessee Flaggers, which is an it's a organization that's just not limited to Tennessee. Uh, we've already done it on a couple of occasions in Lexington, Virginia, and at the new Museum of the Confederacy in Appomattox. Um, well, they want to model out Confederate Flag 5 in the Museum of the Confederacy. Now, it's strange to me. But anyway, uh, we're just getting started again. Okay, now, are you, most of you guys from here? Uh, we've got folks from North Carolina, uh, Mrs. Salem, we've got a lady here from Lexington, Virginia, okay. folks from uh, Tennessee, yes ma'am. Okay. Wow. Right. So uh, a little bit everywhere. Huh? Yes ma'am. All right, is there anything else you want to add? I don't appreciate you being here, thank you. Thank you. And South Carolina and New York and everywhere. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not New York. Can you give me an idea of what y'all were doing here today? Well, as most of these men probably have told you, we're here certainly to honor and recognize the, the men that fought and died and earned a place of honor and dignity while carrying the Christian cross of St. Andrew. Uh, so certainly here to honor these men, and I am very proud to say that I was here when this flag pole was erected and when we honored Robert J. Tipton. Um, unfortunately, there are some folks here that uh, serve on the Watoga uh, Association that uh, to my estimation, despise the Confederate soldier, certainly despise the fact that we would have the audacity to honor these men with, the, with their colors. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the biggest honors you can give to a soldier, is to place his colors over him. They don't like it. Uh, they basically, as far as I'm concerned, even though they did this survey, they should have had the decency to, to take this up because this is desecration of a grave. Uh, had the men and women that you see gathered here today been allowed to do what we do, this cemetery would not be in such disarray. It wasn't in disarray the day I came when, when, when we ran the colors up this pole. I am truly amazed about the level of hate that these people shot from their being. I had opportunity to be in at, uh, Baltimore, Maryland, at John Hopkins University, standing in front of General Forrest and General Robert E. Lee's monument. And I listened to the commander of the Union veterans of the war between the states and how he spoke with great honor that should be bestowed upon that man that his grandpa fought against. They recognized the fact that, as in any war, men come together in battle, things happen, when it's over, they go home and they try to come together in peace. The social, cultural genocide that we face, not only just from the cemetery, but our babies all across the state of Tennessee, all across the country. Mm -hmm. They lose their First Amendment rights. They can't honor their ancestors. And one of the things my father told me, a Baptist minister, was honor that father and that mother so to let the days that you have on this earth will be long. And these folks want us to dishonor our ancestors. When these folks look in the mirror in the morning, when their children look in the mirror in the morning, they see themselves. Are they supposed to remember their ancestors in shame? Mm -hmm. The thing that I despise more than anything else, I've been in civil rights most of my life, my adult life. I am the immediate past president of NAACP. NAACP could have taken the high road. They chose to take the low road when they began to attack this flag just to fill the coffers of an organization that was going broke. That's too bad. Because even the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King told them not to attack this flag. They did it anyway. I am very sick and tired of folks who look like me being used as a pawn against a Southern Christian family. And I mean our family. We walk alike, we talk alike, we pray alike. We are alike. In lieu of the economic institution of slavery that the whole world was complicit in. And that's what these folks continue to try to do. But if you look around here today, you don't see any black folks around here protesting against this flag. You don't see black folks talking about against this flag around here. But they will always use us as a weapon of choice. 
And the second thing they'll say is slavery. And we're supposed to think about the Christian white folks in the Southland of America as though they were the only ones that took part in the economic institution of slavery. Mm -hmm. To include those Africans who look like me. Without them, it couldn't have been done. Today, right. the institution goes on. Now, you've done this in other other places too, is that right? Or is this just here? No, I've, yeah. I've been all across the country. Matter of okay, fact, I'm coming up on my 10-year ten, ten anniversary. So for having done this so many times, what does this mean to you personally? Just, just, just a statement on what this means to you personally. Being here today? Mm -hmm. It is a great honor for me to be here today. The sons of former slaves sitting down at the table of brotherhood with the sons of former slave owners and many not even slave sons of former slave owners. To be able to come here every time I pick this flag up and come in a gathering like this, I'm at a gathering of love, the same kind of love that existed then. It's unfortunate the farther we've gotten from the economic institution of slavery, the farther we get away from that war, the worst things seem to be for folks who look like me. I am so honored to be here. And every time I come, it's another part of history being made just by my presence. For me to be able to come here and stand for all of those black men, and there were many who fought and died and earned a place of honor under this flag. Those 40-something black men who rode with Honorable General Nathan Beckwith Barris. It is an honor for me because I think of Pulaska, Tennessee a lot, where those women of the United Daughters of the Confederacy found all those black Confederate soldiers and asked the federal government to give them iron crosses mm -hmm. for, for, for those soldiers. And the federal government said, no, they were just slaves. Mm -hmm. They were recognized by the state of Tennessee with pensions for their service to the Confederate, for the Confederate Army. Mm -hmm. And for me to come here and to stand up for my family, red, yellow, black, and white, is one of the highest honors I could ever achieve. And every time they come, they call me to come. If there's any way on God's way possible for me to come, I'm going to run and come, because I know that all my ancestors looking down from heaven, and I know my mom is wearing General Lee's ears out right now, are smiling down upon me and thanking me and my family for what we do to preserve our honorable heritage and history. And it's too bad that these people here would not reach out with the kind of love that's being shown toward them. And it is. These are some of the most loving people on God's earth. All right, that's perfect. That's all my questions. Then I come over here and start the pop. I get really, I get, I get excited now. Oh! Woo! Come back over here. I ain't done with you. You know he's my brother, don't you? Y'all ran me out from over there. Y'all told me I was bad looking. I can't take that kind of thing. He's my brother by another mother. Ain't that right? Yeah. Yes, I am. Hey, y'all. Hold on. Hold on just a minute. Stop. Dixie Lynn, I'll take my stand. What we doing here? Dixie Lynn, I'll take my stand. Dixie Lynn, I'll take my stand.